for an exclusive interview. Uh, Elon, first of all, what a triumph to the human spirit, human ingenuity, um, engineering. Um, first of all, on behalf of, I know many people in this audience, thank you for what you did for those astronauts today. Um, how are you feeling, uh, you know, throughout the day? I, I mean, I know I felt butterflies in my stomach and I rarely feel them. Well, I'm actually usually a little nervous about uh, these uh, returns because uh, there's always some risk that something could go wrong. But uh, thanks to the excellent work of the SpaceX team working with NASA, uh, the, sa the, uh, the astronauts are now safely home. And um, so congratulations to the SpaceX and NASA teams on excellent work um, and uh, a huge uh, note of appreciation to President Trump for uh, prioritizing and expediting their return. You have been the chief engineer of SpaceX and remain the chief engineer of SpaceX. It is the first private company to ever make it to orbit. Walk us through the beginnings of that. It is not, um, it's something that nobody else has been able to accomplish. Well, that's, it's quite a long story. Uh, and there are some books that have been written about it. Uh, but uh, in the beginning, I, we didn't actually know anything about rockets. Uh, so our first three missions failed, actually, of our Falcon 1 rocket. and. Uh, uh, we almost ran out of money and just barely made it with the fourth launch. If the fourth launch of Falcon 1 had not succeeded, we would have failed as a company. So we just barely made it. Um, so I have to say that uh, I was not a very good chief engineer in the beginning, but I uh, did learn over time. Um, and uh, I think we've gotten at this point to where the, the vehicle is very reliable and we are going to uh, be able to take astronauts uh, to Mars. In fact, we want to take uh, anyone who goes to Mars and ultimately build a self-sustaining civilization on Mars, that is the long-term goal of the company. Make life healthy planetary. Think, I mean, that is a, a very bold vision. How long do you think that might take SpaceX to, to be able to accomplish? I think we could do it in 20 to 30 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, so but really, the, the, in the, our but, lifetime, I should say, if, if God blesses me with a longer life than I deserve, right, yeah. um, I could always hope. Uh, I'd I would love to be able to see that. That would be amazing. Um, I, I happen to have a telescope, and I love to look at the stars in the sky and, and the planets, and um, I am amazed at the majesty of all of creation and the idea that we even look at the moon and we can go there and come back, or a space station, or you launching the hundreds of satellites you have.